Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jamar. I know it's been quite a while since I've recorded any videos and all that stuff, especially me producing something um, other than dubstep. But guess what? I'm gonna do that right now. I was getting ready to submit to something. As you may or may not know, I'm doing a lot of production for film, movies, uh, TV, radio, stuff like that. If you want to use some of my stuff, Jamar at JamarDawson.com, same as plug. But um, I'm doing a lot now with, with in that vein, and so I was trying to uh, do something for this one call, if you will, that they wanted, and uh, it kind of went a different way. It went to more of a classical rock feel, which is kind of cool. So I figured why not do a video about how to produce classic rock. It's real simple. I'm just going to go in about three or four steps. Uh, first thing you want to do is find um, just some easy chords. If you look at a group like ACDC, they didn't use very complex chords. They used chords like G, D, A, E, a lot of easy stuff. I mean, Back in Black was really simple. Um, and they kind of followed that method throughout uh, their career, really. And so that's kind of where we're going to start. We're going to go on from there. I mean, I'm not going to do the pentatonic soloing and stuff like that. I'm just going to do some stuff with playing some scales, really. But, uh, you know, it's real simple. You just got to know a method. And like I always say, you want to produce something that's uniquely familiar. Something that's different, but something that the audience can associate it with as well. So let's get started. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got some tips and stuff like that. Man, look, be safe. The world's crazy these days. Stay true to Real, man. Catch you soon. Peace.